Hey guys, this is Bailey Smith with Scott Leroy Marketing, and today I'm going to show you the new email campaign design templates in Command. So to get started, I am on my Command dashboard. I am signed into agent.kw.com. And there are a couple different ways that you can access those email campaign templates. You can go in directly from designs or through the email campaign section. So I'm going to start by going in through designs. So from my dashboard, you can see my left hand side, there's the widget menu. And toward the bottom, this widget that looks like a little paintbrush, this will bring us into designs. So let's go ahead and click on that. This brings us into my design templates. This is basically a design library of pieces I have created previously. To create something new, we can go ahead and click on the plus sign down at the bottom right. From here, we can choose which type of design we would like to create. Let's go ahead and choose email and then click next. All right, and these are the new email templates. So if you have used the email campaign section previously, you would have noticed that there were only two templates available for a long time. It was just two newsletters. Um, now KW just recently launched these brand new email design templates. So let's go ahead and just take a look at a new one. So I'm going to select this first option here for approachable for sale. And then let's click next. All right, and this brings us into the email. Now we basically just want to customize this so we can send it out to our command database. Again, these are going to be utilized through the campaign section in command. It's basically for sending out a mass email to contacts that may be in your command database. So you can see this is the template we chose. It is a for sale piece. And we basically just need to work through and customize these items. All right, so we can see there's a text block up at the top that says for sale. If we wanted to edit this, we can click on the box. We can choose the pencil button to edit or the trash can button to just delete this section. Let's go ahead and click on the pencil and we can change out this text. You can see I typed in my new text. If I click done, it adds in that text for me. Down below, there is a spot for an image. Let's go ahead and click on that. Again, we will click the pencil button. And you can see it's going to allow us to change that image. Let's go ahead and click replace. And this will give me a few options. This will have images I have previously uploaded. I can also choose images from a listing. So I can search for my listing here and select an image. So let's say I'll just go ahead and select this one here. I can find my listing. And I can actually choose these photos and add them into my email piece. I can also add in images from my computer. So I'm going to drag and drop here, or I'm sorry, click to browse and just choose an image from my computer. I'll go ahead and click open. All right, you can see the preview of the photo here. I'm going to click on that to select it. You can see it says this image is selected. And let's go ahead and click replace. All right, I can further edit this. If I wanted to, I could link this image to a different website or to a website. I could change the sizing, change the position. But let's go ahead and click done and you'll see it'll pull my photo in right away. Of course, you'll want to go through and edit the rest of this content, but you do have options to add in additional content as well. So you can drag over these content blocks from the right onto the left. So if I wanted another image over here, you can see wherever I move this, wherever this green line is, that's where it's going to drop this content block. So if I let go of my mouse, you can see it added in an image right there. Again, same options, I can choose from my images, these are images I've uploaded previously, an image from a listing, or add in an image from my computer. I'll just go ahead and click this one here. 
click Save, and you can see it added in that photo for me. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. You can add in these additional options here, text, image, buttons, legal headers and legal footers. That basically just has your office logo and your photo and contact information. A listing block. Let's say you're creating an email and you want to add a featured listing to maybe the bottom of that email. You can actually pull over this listing block content and it will allow you to, again, choose your listing and it'll give a little preview of that listing in this email. Event block, if you add that over, you can see basically just adding in information about an event. You would have to upload a photo, change the text, but if you click add or click on view details, you can actually link this to another page like an Eventbrite invitation page or a Facebook event. I'm going to go ahead and delete that section. And you'll see down toward the bottom, there's a lot of text that has these little stars in front of them and behind them. So basically this information you don't need to edit. This is going to pull over from your marketing profile in your settings. So you really wanna make sure your marketing profile has your most up-to-date contact information because that's where all of this is going to pull from. So I wanna show you a preview of what this email is going to look like. And you can do that a couple ways. You can go up to this options button here and choose preview. Or if you actually just click on this eyeball button here, that'll bring you into the preview as well. And you can see what this email is actually going to look like when you send it out. And you can see this information here pulled over um, Scott's contact info. And you can see his logos are added in, office information, what have you. You can also see previews of what this will look like on different devices. So this would be desktop, tablet, and viewed on a phone. Going to go ahead and exit out of that. You can also send a test email. So if you were to click options at the top right, you can click send test email and choose who you'd like to send that to. This looks good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to change the image name up here or the file name. Go ahead and click in this box. And I can just go ahead and click enter and that will save right away. You can also click this save button here, but I recommend changing the file name. And now we can either save and exit. We just saved, so we're good to go. We can also X out of here. And I'll just click save again. Doesn't hurt to save an extra time. So now this piece can be found in my design templates. And if I were to click on email, I could see just email pieces that I have created previously. So I do also want to show you how you can access this from within the campaigns. So let's go over to our widget menu again, and this time I'll click on the icon that looks like a megaphone. And that'll bring us into the campaign section. So we created that piece, now we want to send it to our database. From here, I'm going to click create a new campaign. We'll choose email. And let's start to set up our campaign. We can enter the campaign name, choose a goal. We'll go ahead and just choose other for now. And then how I'd like to send it, I wanna send this to my command database. So I'll send this out through the command email. You can also send this through MailChimp if you'd prefer. So let's click set up campaign. All right, so from here, you basically just need to fill out this form on the left. You'll select, this part is already selected for you, which email you're sending it from. This is our command email, which you can see at the top. You would need to choose your recipients list. You can change the sender info, add in a subject, And now this is the important part. We want to choose that template we just created. So I'm going to go down to this content section and click select design content for your email. So I said at the beginning, there's a couple different ways that you can go in and create a new email template. You can go through designs like I did, or you can actually come in here. So you can see that 
This gives us an option for my templates. This would be that email we just created. But you can also come in here directly and access those templates and create a new piece from this page as well. So if I were to choose one of these templates, I would go in and edit that template again. Now I can just select from my templates. This is the one we just created. I'll go ahead and click on that. It does allow me to edit this again. I'll go ahead and click save and exit. So this looks good to go for me. And this should, there we go. Now this is added into my email campaign. I can again, set up these details. This is a preview of what the email will look like. I can either save this as a draft, schedule this to go out later, send a test email, preview once again, or send it out directly. So there you go. That's how you can access the new design templates for email campaigns in command and how you can send them out as well.